Here I am at Manchester Airport Runway Visitor Park where people gather every day to watch planes take off and land. But is this spectatorship causing a stars in their eyes approach to aviation and are we forgetting the main problem with planes? Air pollution. But the problem is the environmental impacts of aviation are starting to constrict its growth. And the carbon dioxide from aviation is growing year on year on year. With over 8 million people flying every single day, Manchester Airport is the busiest airport outside of London. But with all of these people flying every day, how much fuel are we burning and what is its effect on our planet? Well, aeroplanes fly on carbon fuels mm -hmm. and in one year one aeroplane like that consumes the same fuel as 250,000 cars. Neo, which is a new engine option, so the engine's about 25 to 50% bigger than the first the engine on the previous model. Okay. Because the bigger the engine, the more air it can suck into power the engine, which means it uses less fuel. Oh. This little aeroplane here costs $400 million. Becoming more fuel efficient that's not keeping up with the rate of growth of the industry. So the that we produce all this pollution. And the solutions are, first of all, to fly, to develop cleaner aircraft, ideally aircraft that don't run on carbon fuels, but that's 40, 50 years into the future. You can have electric cars, but you can't have an electric aeroplane yet. Um, Boeing 737 um, product, that's recently, they've recently upgraded that as well and the new model is about 35% more fuel efficient than the previous model that was out before it. Yeah, and like I said, eventually they'll probably find a way of using fossil fuel and biofuels rather to replace the fossil fuel jet A fuels they use now, so give it time. Technology, operations, infrastructure and money to allow airlines to improve their fleets. Planes are getting more efficient but it's not something you can just simply do overnight. I mean they're trying biofuels, they're trying to do... For our own health, not just other people's health, uh, government needs to take action and it can do exactly the same. It can encourage us to use um, low polluting vehicles to come to college or to work by public transport to work at home. It can encourage industry to clean up its act as well. Everything needs to change, but there are lots of challenges that prevent us moving quickly.